This is the way we wash the clothes, wash the clothes, wash the clothes. Now that the clothes are washed and hung to dry, we can start exploring the sights and sounds of Chihuahua. This, of course, includes trying out some authentic Mexican cuisine. In the city center, we explore Museum Casa Chihuahua. Here we discover three main areas, the site museum, temporary exhibit area, and a state heritage museum intended to inform visitors about the attractions in the state of Chihuahua. We found a really interesting display of photographs from around the state of Chihuahua. Interesting design. The Angel of Liberty Monument is in the plaza overlooking the Governor's Palace in the capital city of Chihuahua. We take a break from exploring and head back to our home away from home. There you go. Upon returning to the hostel, we find Maria, along with her daughter, ready to greet us with a warm smile. The rooms were real secure, too. Uh, yes, they were. You felt oh, very safe yeah, in their they were rooms. Like yeah. Rock walls, I yeah. think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. that was a good place. Good, happy hour place. Mm -hmm. yeah, and she even, the, the lady, she dug through cupboards and did to some searching. Get us one of the wine glasses. She got us real oh, wine yeah. glasses. So Sunday we had real They're wine glasses, in, yes. and she came out with so proud of these. Like we were look what I found! Look then. what I found! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. they were super nice. But yeah, it was a good place to bring in your own food or to. Yeah. Um, and they had a. a Simple breakfast. Mm -hmm. That was ample. Yeah. Oh, that's right, and that was included was too. Breakfast, yeah. Yeah. More yeah. Like bread and coffee. Yeah. Bread and coffee. Yeah. coffee. Cereal. Coffee is the main thing. Coffee yeah. and toast. That's all I need. Yeah. We start walking about two or three blocks away from the city center looking for some place to eat and it looks like we found the perfect spot. It truly was the best food of our whole trip in Mexico. What are they called? Montados. Montados. Bon appetit gang. <laughs> Kids are kids, the world around when it comes to playing in water. We were lucky to be able to experience Chihuahua on a weekend evening. Beautiful inside and out, the Metropolitan Cathedral of the Holy Cross is considered the finest example of colonial architecture in northern Mexico. lucky to be in Chihuahua, Mexico during the weekend of their annual Independence Day celebration.
ready for a big party, Independence Day. Workers to get ready for the party. No quiero. That big skin. back to the museum because it's free on Sundays. There's Amy. <laughs> How are you today? Fine. How are you doing? We find ourselves seated right in front of the band as we enjoy one last meal in Chihuahua, Mexico. So Saturday she brought her kids, her girls to work with her. Sunday she brought her girls to work with her. Six in the morning, it's Independence Day on Monday, and so the girls did not have school. They're at work with her. In the morning, they were the most well-behaved girls mm -hmm. ever. And no iPad. You were saying no, no iPad, iPads. no devices, no iPads, no nothing. Phones. No phones. They were helping. They were. They weren't that yeah. old. They were. They were helping older. her. And yeah. He was super too. I yeah. mean, just really helpful if we had questions. Super. Gracias. There we go. All the way to the bus. We leave for the bus station extra early since the streets will be closed for their Independence Day parade this morning. This early arrival allows us plenty of time to hang out at the bus station. We hop on the bus and enjoy the ride from Chihuahua, Mexico to El Paso, Texas. We hope the border crossing will be a smooth one. The bus stops a few miles before the border so that they can inspect the contents of our backpacks. Didn't take long, we didn't take much. Next stop is at the United States border. I asked what to do with my tourist visa. She said, you have to go back to Mexico and turn it in. Since the option of going back into Mexico meant I would need to cross several lanes of traffic, I had a slight panic attack and was relieved to hear from other Mexican citizens and people that cross the border often that it's not I'm a big deal. Just hang on to it. That. Maybe we will get an Uber. We are in. El Paso. Okay. After an uneventful flight to Minneapolis, we find ourselves back in our own vehicle, going home sweet Almost home. home. Here we come, Manfred Township, Lackaparo County, Minnesota, close to the South Dakota border.